<sighs> that was really tiring. But it was a good practice, don't you think? Well, tiring, yes. Good practice, not really. The competition is in a week. We're missing people. The choreography is barely halfway done. And a lot of people didn't show up here. This is so impossible to do. Don't stress about it, Ronnie. I'm sure we'll get through. Well, sure, but I was thinking, what if I just like, maybe, you know, mm, faked an injury? Cause like, it would get us out of the competition? <gasps> but that would be lying. And that's a sin. And God hates sin. Hey, that reminds me of the Bible lesson last week. Do you still remember? The big idea was, repent from sin. Oh, um... Mm, I don't really remember that one. That's okay, Ronnie. Do you remember, kids? Let's have a quick review. Why did the Israelites get defeated at Ai? A. The Israelites didn't have enough soldiers. B. They were too scared. Or C. They sinned against God. That's right! The answer is letter C. Achan took some things from Jericho, even though God told the Israelites not to. Their disobedience made God angry. As a consequence of their sin, the Israelites were defeated at Ai. Oh, okay, now I remember. I shouldn't lie because it displeases God. I'm sorry for thinking that way. You know, maybe we could practice a bit more. I mean, we should use all the time we've got, right? That's a great idea. Really tiring. It Don't was a, you agree? It was a great run. Let's just hope the others show up tomorrow so we can practice it some more. But for now, it's time to rest. Sure, I agree. I'm starving. And it's got to be at least 6.30 in the evening by now. But wait, something's not right. That's strange. Um, Yana. Yeah? Yana. What? Look! What? Up there! What? Is that the sun? Yeah, I think it is. Whoa. It's, it's 6.30, but it's still there. How is that possible? Wait a minute. I think I remember a Bible story where the sun stands still. This might be the Bible story we're learning today. I think you're right, Ronnie. Let's find out about that story in the Bible. Hey kids, I'm Atayana. And I'm Atarani here. Get ready to learn a new lesson here today in Next Gen Live. Okay, what was the story? <laughs> When the people of Gibeon heard how the Israelites completely destroyed Ai and Jericho, they became very afraid. Now in Joshua chapter 10, the Gibeonites sent some men wearing worn out clothing, patched shoes as though they have come a long way. They did this to trick Joshua and the Israelites so they would agree that there would be peace between them. The king of Jerusalem heard of the agreement of the Gibeonites with Israel, and he joined all of his forces with four other kings to attack the Gibeonites. The Gibeonites sent a message to Joshua, asking him to help them in the battle. Though the Gibeonites deceived them, Joshua kept his promise of their agreement because it was made in God's name. When Joshua heard of this plan, he was instructed to attack the five kings before they could attack them. The Lord said to Joshua, Do not be afraid of them. I have given them into your hand. Not one of them will be able to withstand you. So Joshua marched up all night from Gilgal with his entire army, including all the best fighting men. 
Imagine how God's words gave the Israelites strength and courage to march all night and be ready for their battle. That's true. God helped Joshua and his army, and the Lord threw their enemies into a panic before Israel, who struck them with a great blow. Then the Lord threw down large hailstones from the heavens onto their enemies. There were more men who died because of the hailstones than the men of Israel who were killed with a sword. Wait, that was such an amazing display of God's great power. That's true, Ronnie, and it gets even more exciting. Joshua then prayed to God to allow the sun to stand still for about a whole day as they were battling their enemies. Wait a minute, is that even possible? Am I really reading this from the Bible? That's what the Bible tells us. It's mind-blowing, isn't it? I know, Yana. Let's continue. And so, the sun did not go down until the Israelites had defeated their enemy. During the battle, the five kings ran away and hid in a cave. But Joshua's men brought the five kings out of the cave, and they were all killed by Joshua. Amazing! Even if they were fighting against five, five kingdoms, they were victorious because God was with them. Indeed, that was an awesome story of God's victory. Well, now that we're done reading, I guess it's time for our pop-up pop -up quiz. quiz. <gasps> Question number one. Why did the Gibeonites trick and make peace with Israel? A. They were afraid of Israel. B. They want to join forces with the five kings? Or C, they plan to attack Israel? What's your answer, guys? It's letter A, they were afraid of Israel. Question number two. How many kings joined forces to attack Gibeon? A, 20 kings. B, one king. Or C, five kings. I'm sure you guys know the answer. It's... Letter C, five kings. And now, question number three. God sent the large stones from heaven and made the sun stand still to help Joshua and the Israelites defeat their enemies. Is it true or false? The answer is true. Nothing is impossible with God. He was the one who brought victory to Joshua and the Israelites. That's our big idea for today. Nothing is impossible with God. Now let's learn our new memory verse found in Joshua chapter 21, verse 45. The Lord kept all the good promises He had made to the Israelites. Every one of them came true. Joshua chapter 21, verse 45. Just like how it seemed impossible for the Israelites to defeat five kings and their armies, Sometimes it seems impossible that God could forgive us for all the sins that we do, doesn't it? But there's good news. God loves us so much that He sent His Son, Jesus, to save us. He died on the cross, paying for our sins once and for all. And three days later, He rose from the grave and is now in heaven with God. We can be in heaven with God one day too, if we repent of our sins and give our lives to Him. Would you like to give your life to Jesus today? If so, pray this prayer with me. Dear God, thank you for your goodness and love for us when you sent your only son Jesus who died on the cross to pay for our sins. After three days, he rose again and is now with you in heaven. I admit that I have sinned against you. Please forgive me. Today, I receive Jesus as my Lord and Savior. Please help me to live a life pleasing to you, because I know that nothing is impossible with you. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. If you just prayed that prayer, then congratulations! You're now a child of God. Welcome, Welcome to God's, God's family. family! We'd love to hear about what you learned in today's lesson. Share them in the Victorious Padlet page by scanning the QR code down below or going to the link you see below. Whoa! What is this? It, it looks like a scroll? Yeah, it is. And it's like a map. Hold on. I think there are names written on it. Wait, 
These look familiar. Is it? The 12 tribes of Israel. That's right. Well, I'm sure you guys don't want to miss what's coming next week. Oh, this is getting more exciting. See you in another episode here in Next, Next Gen, Gen Live. Live. Okay, what is the like? Right. Hey, Next Gen families, how about spending time sharing with each other your answers to our discussion questions? Because a family that shares with each other stays together and grows in the Lord together. Let's use these questions to help us discuss what we learned in today's lesson. Have, have a great, great time discussing! Want to be part of a Next Gen small group via Zoom? If you are 7 to 12 years old, you can be part of an online squad or small group by registering on the link in the description or scanning this QR code. Hope to see you there! <laughs>